Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. It's pouring down rain right now. It is totally raining. It's going to be raining all day, so nothing's going to get done unless it's inside the tiny house. And I actually have something to do inside the tiny house because you know what got delivered yesterday? Oh my gosh, I'm going to show you right now. chilly but not chilly enough to light a fire it's been raining so hard that's why I kind of did the prior video the way that I did because you couldn't hear me talking over it that's okay you got the idea so right now I'm having kind of like a brunch yep I'm having a egg salad sandwich made with my pickled eggs they're not completely pickled yet but the flavor has already started being really good mmm mmm that's delicious delicious egg salad anyhow so i'm just gonna uh, i'm gonna go eat that and i'll come back i've kind of skimmed through these instructions but i'm gonna go through them more slowly word for word it's got some good information um yeah do not expose power tools to rain or wet conditions um don't use the wrong extension cord stay alert watch what you're doing use common sense Use personal protective equipment. Dress properly. Don't wear, like, loose-fitting clothing. Here's a good one. Always hold a chainsaw with your right hand on the rear handle and your left hand on the front handle. Holding a chainsaw in the opposite matter is bad. You don't want to do it. Do not operate the chainsaw while standing in a tree. Ha! My son will laugh when he hears that one. Oh, here's a good one. When cutting a limb that is under tension, be alert for spring back. Yes, I could imagine that. Uh, use extreme caution when cutting brush and saplings. The slender material may catch the saw chain whipping towards you or pulling you off balance. Yeah, don't want that to happen. Okay, when I call my son, and he is a class A tree climber, trimmer, lumberjack type dude, and uh, he has a lot of experience with chainsaws and 
taking down trees, big trees, big huge trees. Um, he told me, the first thing he told me is don't cut with the tip. And that's exactly what it says, he says here. Reducing kickback. Kickback can occur when the tip of the guide bar touches an object or when the wood closes in and pinches the saw chain inside the cut. Uh, yeah, it goes on and on and on. So yeah, that is definitely, you don't want to start with the tip. There's a lot more great instructions in here, safety tips. Um, that's a parts list, so this is going to tell me how to put it together, and I don't think I'm going to have an issue putting it together. If I got that mini chainsaw put together, this is not going to be that much harder. It gives you instructions on properly tensioning the chain. It shouldn't look like this. It should look like this. My son told me that if you can fit a dime, you should be able to fit no more than a dime, like a 10 cent piece, <laughs> a dime through the bar in the chain. So I'm going to kind of like go with that. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I also know that I'm getting an additional battery and some um, oil for the chain. Uh, the special oil that you put in it, and it's a self-lubricating um, chainsaw, so I don't have to like do that. Uh, so that's coming. It, it's delayed. It's supposed to get here, I don't know, with, within the next few days, maybe well, uh, let's see, today is Sunday. I'm filming this on Sunday, so it might get here tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to tell you who got me this chainsaw. Well, let me put it all together first, and um, and then I'll tell you. I'm absolutely wanting to make sure that I get this chain put on the right way, because with one of the mini chainsaws, I put the chain on backwards. Uh, so it looks like that little part, this little part goes like that. And it looks like that's how I have it, right? That looks exactly like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that too tight? I can pull it down. I'm going to ask my son to review this. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be any tighter. But... Um, since this isn't charged, it doesn't even have a battery in it. Um, before, before I operate this, well, I'm going to take this all apart and put it back in the box for right now. I think that's going to be the safest way to store it. Um, and before I use it for the first time, I'm going to get the tripod out and show you how I did this. Uh, I'm going to have a few conversations with my son just to make sure that I'm doing it right before I do an official, you know putting together demonstration thing because I don't I don't want people to watch me like I'm doing it right now and and think that this is the way to do it so you'll get to see me do this again and it'll be a little bit more seamless because I'll be using a tripod but this is it you guys it's gorgeous whoops <laughs> it is gorgeous it's gorgeous and I can't wait to use it and this Prezi came from the lovely Miss Donna B. She told me she was wanting to get me one, and I told her, just hold off, because things are tight for everybody right now. I know they are for me. And uh, a few days ago, she just says, you're getting a 16-inch chainsaw. And what's really funny about it is, when I was researching chainsaws, I put two on a private um, shopping list on Amazon for me. It's a list that I... I have that uh, for things that I'm currently saving for and want to get. Well, she had the exact same one. She she ordered me the exact same one that I wanted. And uh, this list is private, so she couldn't have known. But she knew that this was the one somehow that this was a good chainsaw. And it is. It's got lots of good reviews. And um, so, I, I mean, it's just so ironic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Donna. I love this. I can't wait to get started using it. Oh, and I got to tell you, I almost didn't get it. Yeah, um, a substitute UPS guy came, and I had been stressing out about this all day because there was something else that I'm supposed to supposed to have gotten that I don't think I'm going to get till Monday. And um, something told me just to really focus on watching for the delivery. And I did. I was watching, and I was stressed all day, very, very nervous about it. I don't know why. Um, but the UPS driver got here. I heard him honk at the end of the street 
and he was carrying the package up to a property that had it been delivered to that property I likely never would have seen the chainsaw if it had been delivered to neighbor dude and dudette and kids I would have gotten it if it would have been delivered to Mr. Lucas across the street I would have gotten it but the dude delivered it to the was going to deliver it to the wrong house but I saw him and I ran down to the end of my drive I hailed him I says no 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 wrong wrong place and he said um isn't that you know, he shouted out my address, and I says, no, <laughs> that's me, that's me right here. I grabbed my wagon, um, and I met him, and uh, put it in there, and he just didn't look closely enough at the address on the mailbox, so I'm just relieved that I was watching. I am so relieved because I may never have seen this, so, you know, it kind of makes me wonder. There's There's something else that I think... I was supposed to have gotten, and, um, well, we'll talk about that some other time. Uh, but I got it, so I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled about this. Thank you so much, Donna. You just... <sighs> this is a game changer. It... Puppies! Goodness, they've been inside all day. It's just now starting to slow down raining. So I got to get out there. I got to let the chickens out. I didn't let them out of their coops, but they've got food and water in their coops. The guys are in their coop. I didn't even let them out into the run. But the Easter eggers, they are in their little tiny run. I'm just so excited. I couldn't even sleep because I knew, I knew, well, I, was, I haven't been able to sleep for a few days because I've been expecting these couple of things um, that I was told were ordered for me and I just kept watching and I'm like oh my gosh but anyhow I'm just going on and on um, so when I get ready to use it you guys will get to see and you still get to see there's one more thing very very important for this homestead that is yet to come so I'm looking forward to that too anyhow that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.